Hello friends, this is Yusuf. Uh, okay, uh, we have seen in part 1 of web services how to create a web service from scratch. <coughs> now in this video, uh, I am going to show you how to debug the web service. Okay, uh, Because debugging is needed uh, um, in most of the cases uh, when you are uh, testing uh, uh, different functionality or uh, we encounter any unexpected errors, those stuff. So uh, let me open my S400. Okay. So first of all, okay, let me also open my wizard. Okay. So this is the program which we have used for our part one. Okay. So this is a factorial program. Okay, fine. Now we also made a web service get fact. So we use a visitor and test it using a whistler. Okay. Pass a parameter, click go. Okay, we got the result. Fine, no issues. But wait a minute. Let me change the input. We change it to 17. Go. Something wrong. Okay, so we get the uh, internal server. So in this case, we want to know what is the error. We need to uh, find out the root cause on those steps. So in this case, yes, I know what is the reason. Okay, I'll tell you. So this is a factorial program, and you know what this factorial is all about. So this particular table tells factorial of each number. You can see after we cross 13, the factorial is getting increased to 11 and 12, 13 digits. But my program handles only 10 digits. So the output variable is handling only 10 digit so in this case if we want to get the factorial of 17 that will not help because that's a 15 digit number so i know the root cause in this case but uh, in general if we encounter any issues like this we want to find the root cause so we may need to debug this particular program okay so via the web service so i'll show you how to do that okay first of all what we get from here so we can see that it says statement number 24 the program is the factorial program is failing with the idc 9901 so for most of the uh, as uh, uh, developers this is enough to find the root cause maybe they can go to the line number it says 24 okay and when it's time to multiply the number is overflowing and we're getting error but let's see how to debug this first of all uh, this is not a, a normal program this is a web service program and it is in, it is being invoked when if 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 we uh, uh, go or if we issue this particular statement from a client, okay. So in this case, okay, if you put a request and if I give some other good numbers like ten, I give go, I get the response. So when I click go, the control is going to the system and the program is running and getting the output. So we want to find how it is happening, okay. So I'll tell Q user work is the subsystem in which uh, all the clients jobs will be there. Okay. So in this case, uh, okay. So this is a job. If you, if you know, uh, if you want to know how I exactly found out because using this profile, because I gave this profile to run this particular web service during part one. Okay. So to double confirm, we can just go inside. And see see my program is getting called and also it say uh, this is sta this statement was issued during the previous call it said target value too small to hold the result okay whatever so now we found out which job is calling my program now we need to debug so there are simple two steps take the job name okay uh, before that we should have compiled this particular program with st uh, this thing uh, no debug I one source I'm just going to compile it again okay fine so now let's take this particular job start service job and then start debug program library update production yes now set a breakpoint f6 f10 
now we are all set now if a program is uh, invoked we will get the alert ok let's try to invoke it again give the number 17 go see so the program has been called but it has been stopped because we set a breakpoint now it's simple debugging we can give you f10 we can go and see what happens so when the number is crosses for example now the count is 8 so when we cross 13 now the count is 14 so we get the error that's it so this is the way we can debug the program and it's being ended abnormally that's it so n debug n srv job so that's it so this will be helpful if you're having a complex business logic which has multiple it has multiple subroutines and if you want to if you don't want to track exact issues you can follow this method so as of now i'm just going to handle it in a programming way so what i'm going to do okay okay so what i have just done i have just added a if statement to handle this so if the number is uh, greater than or equal to 14 so i am telling input number is big because 14 is the number or uh, the output is getting increased uh, output digit is getting increased so i will just compile this done go here go to request give a small number working give a big number uh -huh, it's working so i hope you got it so let me know if you have any more doubts and thank you